Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. For today's video, I thought I would talk about products um, that I only own one of from each brand, um, or brands that I only own one product from. Uh, and a couple of these brands are not cruelty free, so unfortunately I will I won't be repurchasing from these brands in the future unless they decide to go cruelty free but I thought I would include them in this video because um, the products that I do have from them are good and I do like them and I would recommend I'm gonna start off with the two products that are not cruelty free because I won't be repurchasing them but I did want to mention them because I do think they are good products and I thought you know maybe some other people would like to hear about them or learn more about them so the first product is from Chanel and this is their powder blush in rose bronze this is absolutely a gorgeous blush it's very basic but I love this blush I feel like it's the perfect fall and winter blush and I feel like it's one of those blushes that doesn't look like a lot in the pan but on the cheeks it's absolutely beautiful um and I just feel like the Chanel blushes last a decent amount of time on my skin um they kind of have like a floral powder scent to them but it's not offensive usually i'm not a fan of floral scents but this isn't too offensive or anything and i just think the overall you know formula of these blushes is very pretty and i just feel like it's kind of like a go-to you know anybody could pull this off type blush so i really like that and i just think you know they're a good blush and i would like to try more from them however they're not cruelty free so i won't be the next brand that I only own one product from is Laura Mercier and I have the translucent setting powder. This is my favorite setting powder and I think it's a great for baking. Um, I don't really typically set my entire face with this just because I use it just a uh, pressed powder <laughs> to set my face but this is great for baking and carving out a contour. Um, it's, you know nice size and everything and I find that the packaging of this is really nice because I feel like it's not super messy because um of how big the packaging is I think that kind of helps make it easier to use um where if you have a smaller um container it will tend to get a little bit messy but this one I really like and I think this is a great product if you are somebody who wants to you know uh, bake uh, and carve out your contour this is a great powder and I would highly and I would highly recommend checking that out if you have not done so already and then the last two products are cruelty free so the first product is from Milani and this is their lipstick in Cabernet blend um, and it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing on my lips right now um, these kind of have a cucumber you know sent to them and I do like their lipsticks they're a great drugstore formula um and I would like to try more from Milani because this lipstick is incredible and you know I think you know for being in the drugstore and everything this is a great uh lipstick in general and it's pretty affordable as well and then the last and final product or brand that um I only own one product from is Cover FX and this is the Cover FX Perfect Highlighting Palette, and this is their limited edition holiday palette for holidays of twenty, uh, the holiday twenty seventeen this year. Um, and this was uh, sold at Ulta, so I don't know if it's still available. I did order mine online because uh, my store didn't have it, but this is what it looks like. I absolutely adore this highlighting palette. Um, there is a little bit of like powderiness to it, but it's not anything like offensive. I don't think. Every single shade in here works beautifully with my skin tone and I think if you have a deeper skin t tone you can also pull these off because you can kind of mix and match these shades to lighten or darken them which I personally really like and I just find that this highlighting palette is really compact and I overall um, really like this palette and I would like to try out more products from Cover FX. So yeah, those are some products that I only own one of from these brands and um, let me know what products you only own one of from certain brands and what other brands you know uh, you would like to try or just what other products that I should try from these brands um, let me know down below and thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.